Welcome to Pro Wrestling History Daily Top 5. I'm your host, the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and join me as I count down the top five moments for this day in pro wrestling history. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling history on. Number 5, 1912 and 1975. Tarzan Lopez is born, then passes away. Known as Tarzan because of his bodybuilder physique, Lopez held the Mexican National Welterweight Championship from 1936 through 1939. He also captured the NWA middleweight title several times and was named MVP in Mexico in 1940, 1944, and 1948. Number 4. 1982. Bearcat Wright passes away. Popular in the 1950s and 60s, despite racial tensions in the United States, he became wildly popular as a babyface, wrestling in either singles competition or in tag team competition, often matched with Bobo Brazil. Thousands of fans would pack the arenas to see him. He was the son of boxer Ed Bearcat Wright and had an 8-0 record as a professional boxer himself in the early 50s. Boxing is Bearcat Wright Jr. Number 3, 1986. Wahoo McDaniel defeats Tully Blanchard for the NWA National Heavyweight title in Los Angeles, California. Wahoo would be the final national champion as he would lose a title unification match to U.S. champion Nikita Koloff one month later. Number 2, 2016. Mr. Fuji passes away. A heel often known for throwing salt in fan-favorite wrestlers' eyes, he was a multi-time tag team champion and manager. Notable wrestlers and tag teams he managed included Don Morocco, Yokozuna, and Demolition. Number 1. 1989. Dusty Rhodes, in his first WWF pay-per-view match, defeated the Honky Tonk Man with a bionic elbow after Jimmy Hart accidentally hit Honky with his guitar. This was also the debut of the infamous polka dot outfit for Rhodes. And that's our list. Make sure to comment below what you feel was the number one moment for this day in pro wrestling history.